Hi Trinity, this is Jennifer coming to you for evening prayer on August 13th and our saint is Jeremy Taylor. Oh God, make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O oh, gracious light, O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O oh, Son of God, O oh, giver of life and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalm appointed is part two of Psalm 105. Israel came into Egypt and Jacob became a sojourner in the land of Ham. The Lord made his people exceedingly fruitful. He made them stronger than their enemies, whose heart he turned so that they hated his people and dealt unjustly with his servants. He sent Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen. They worked his signs among them and portents in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and it grew dark, but the Egyptians rebelled against his words. He turned their waters into blood and caused their fish to die. Their land was overrun by frogs in the very chambers of their kings. He spoke and there came swarms of insects and gnats within all their borders. He gave them hailstones instead of rain and flames of fire throughout their land. He blasted their vines and their fig trees and shattered every tree in their country. He spoke and the locusts came and young locusts without number which ate up all the green plants in their land and devoured the fruit from their soil. He struck down the firstborn of their land, the first fruits of all their strength. He led out his people with silver and gold. In all their tribes, there was not one that stumbled. Egypt was glad of their going because they were afraid of them. He spread out a cloud for a covering and a fire to give light in the night season. They asked and quails appeared and he satisfied them with bread from heaven. He opened the rock and water flowed. So the river ran in the dry places for God remembered his holy word and Abraham his servant. So he led forth his people with gladness, his chosen with shouts of joy. He gave his people the lands of the nations and they took the fruit of others' toil, that they might keep his statutes and observe his laws. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now the lessons, a reading from John chapter four. Just then his disciples came. They were astonished that he was speaking with a woman but no one said, what do you want? Or why are you speaking with her? Then the woman left her water jar and went back to the city. She said to the people, come and see a man who told me everything I have ever done. He cannot be the Messiah, can he? They left the city and were on their way to him. Meanwhile, the disciples were urging him, Rabbi, eat something. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you do not know about. So the disciples said to one another, Surely no one has brought him something to eat? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to complete his work. Do you not say four months more and then the harvest? But I tell you, look around you and see how the fields are ripe for harvesting. The reaper is already receiving wages and is gathering fruit for eternal life so that sower and reaper may rejoice together. For here the saying holds true, one sows and another reaps. 
I sent you to reap that which for which you did not labor. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labor. Many Samaritans from that city believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I have ever done. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, It is no longer because of what you said that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is truly the Savior of the world. The Song of Mary My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. For he has come to help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered the promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now about our saint, Jeremy Taylor. He was born at Cambridge in 1613 and ordained in 1633. In the years between 1633 and the ascendancy of the Puritans in 1645, he was a fellow of two Cambridge colleges and chaplain to Archbishop Loud and to King Charles. Under Puritan rule, he was imprisoned three times and forced into retirement as a family chaplain in Wales. After the Restoration in 1661, he became Bishop of Down and Connor in, Eng in Ireland. Among his many books on theological, moral, and devotional subjects, the best known are The Rule and Exercises of Holy Living, 1650, and The Rule and Exercises of Holy Dying, 1651 usually cited simply as holy living and holy dying. Many readers, including Charles Wesley a century later, have reported finding these books of great spiritual benefit. Another work of his, Liberty of Prophesying, argues for freedom of conscience and freedom of speech in a religious context. Being stationed in an area that was largely Roman Catholic, he was perhaps inevitably drawn into controversy, and he wrote a book called Dissuasion or Dissuasive Against Popery. One of the prayers for the visitation of the sick is found in the Book of Common Prayer. It's in the 1928 version on page 316. It was written by Taylor and it reads as follows. O God, whose days are without end, and whose mercies cannot be numbered. Make us, we beseech thee, deeply sensible of the shortness and uncertainty of human life, and let thy Holy Spirit lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days, that when we have served thee in our generation, we may be gathered unto our fathers, having the testimony of a good conscience, in the communion of the Catholic Church, in the confidence of a certain faith, in the comfort of a reasonable religious and holy hope, in favor with thee, our God, and in perfect charity with the world, all which we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. That this evening be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Jeremy Taylor and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. O God, whose days are without end and whose mercies cannot be numbered, make us, like your servant Jeremy Taylor, deeply aware of the shortness and uncertainty of human life, and let your Holy Spirit lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>